Could we possibly make any more noise? I guess so. The UNSC Navy represented the pinnacle of human spacefaring. From orbital platforms, one-man fighters, and mile-long capital ships, the UNSC were well equipped to deal with any threat. Had the Navy not been as versatile as it was, humanity would have been wiped out by the Covenant long before the Halo Rings were even uncovered. So join us as we take a closer look at this mighty fleet. You boys can thank me later. Right now I got selling to do. The SOEIV, or Single Occupant Exoatmospheric Insertion Vehicle, was a mass-produced single-person pod, allowing the user to rapidly exit a larger spacecraft and land on a planet's surface within minutes. While not a traditional spacecraft in any way, the drop pod included navigational systems, communications, and maneuvering thrusters to help get the users to where they needed. Using a deployable chute, they could slow their descent to a safe landing speed. Designed by a Shia Armory on Reach and Mars, the drop pod saw use from 2461, wildly used by ODST Helljumper Marines and later Spartan 4s, the pod was not much bigger than a modern day car, but protected the user from atmospheric re-entry. Usually seen dropping from a UNSC cruiser in large numbers, the pod offered a good survival rate, even when considering the dangers of falling through the sky in a metal box. While larger dropships could deploy huge numbers of soldiers and vehicles easily, a single dropship created one large, slower target that if hit, meant the loss of an entire fire team. Drop pods, however, allowed at least some of the team to hit the ground safely, as due to their numbers, it was near impossible to destroy them all. The drop pods saw multiple deployments before, during, and after the Human Covenant War, and played a key part in many conflicts of the era. A squad of ODSTs along with Spartan Cal 141 deployed from the UNSC Kronstadt on a daring mission in Covenant-controlled space. They aim to investigate ancient forerunner ruins and assassinate an unnamed prophet. <laughs> Using SOEIVs, Fireteam Raven deployed to Installation 04 during the events of Halo Combat Evolved. They successfully bought the chief time against the Covenant as he set about destroying the ring. Perhaps the most iconic use of UNSC drop pods is within Halo 3 ODST, where we became part of Alpha 9, the ODST squad led by Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck who used the pods to attempt a landing onto the surface of a Covenant carrier. As their mission began, Alpha 9 were commandeered by Oni Agent Dare on her mission to recover enemy intel stored in an engineer trapped in the New Mombasa data hive. Alpha 9's pods proved their effectiveness even as they lost power during the EMP effect from a slip space jump, causing the vessels to freefall into the city. Emerging from their scattered pods, the squad aided outgunned UNSC forces throughout the city before regrouping. They extracted the engineer and its intel successfully, and gave the UNSC the edge in a counter-attack that led to the downfall of the Covenant. The Covenant have found Earth. They own New Mombasa. Anyone that could have driven them off is dead or gone. I'd say that makes for desperate times. Me and my team? Guess we're the desperate measures. As the Prophet of Regret fled Earth, he was pursued by UNSC in Amber Clad, led by Miranda Keys and the Master Chief. 
When arriving out of slip space at Delta Halo, 117 was deployed on 1st Platoon. One month after the events of Halo Wars 2, UNSC Squad Sunray discovered banished plans to repurpose a foreigner vessel. The team put an end to the Hunter Colony's scheme after disabling the ship's engines, saving the Spirit of Fire. Without SOE IV drop pods, many battles for the UNSC would undoubtedly have ended very differently, proving that while power and size help turn the tide, it's often the actions and outcomes from smaller forces that tip the scales of war. Here we go! Next wave coming in! Get set, troopers! This is gonna get hot! <laughs> 